This video is about must have custom functions, which is part of a series. And in this particular one, we'll cover some device and platform custom functions that should really help you save time in your developing. To demonstrate these, I have a simple solution that's created. There's one table that has no fields, no records. And if we look at our scripts, there's nothing there. If we look at our custom functions, there is nothing there. Now, whether you like custom functions or not, I think you'll really see some benefit here in using this. So we're just going to create a new one and see if you've ever had this issue before. Suppose you want to do something just for the Mac. And so you want to determine what platform is this, if you can even recall that it is platform, maybe it's system, oh, it's probably a Git platform. Uh, sometimes you have to put the parentheses, there it is, Git system platform. This returns a number representing the current platform. Well, that's great, but what number means what? So now I have to go, to the help file and let's type in system platform. Here is our function and here are the numbers. So one, if it's a Mac, negative two, if it's Windows, and then we have three for iOS, four for web direct and five if it's Linux. So it looks like those are the numbers. Now, unless you really commit those to memory, then you would need to come back here each time to verify which one it is. So we want to do Mac only things. So let's change this to get system platform equals one. Then we are going to do Mac things. But maybe you also want to look at if get system, and now we have to go to platform equals, maybe we want to, if it's an iOS, well, what was that number? So now we have to go back to this help file and see was that the negative or was it a three or was it a positive? And there it is, three is iOS. So let's go back and we'll put the three, then we can do iOS things. So this is the general system of doing things unless you have this committed to memory. So what if there was an easier way to accomplish this? So we'll just save that and we are going to bring up our best of the best scenario. And we are going to do the same thing. We'll do a script. And let's just duplicate this and suppose we were going to run the same script. We're going to declare some variables or we'll just go here in the first part if and we type in platform and right away there is platform Mac mobile runtime server web and Windows. So we can see quickly if it's the platform is Mac, then we are going to do Mac things. And else if platform, and now we want uh, mobile iOS, then we do iOS things. So much quicker right out of the gate, and it's simply using a custom function. So let's look at the platform Mac custom functions. It's very complex, so you wanna make sure you zoom in here. It's just one line. It's actually the same one, but this one is not as easy to remember as the other name that we are using, Platform Mac. And the beauty of custom functions is you can make this whatever you want. Maybe you want it to be Mac platform or Mac computer or whatever terminology that you use, you can put it in right there so it comes up very quickly. So it's same same step, but it's found easier. And I don't have to remember what the one, negative two or three. So I actually have one for each of these. Each of these are exactly the same. There's three and there's a little bit of a different pattern here because of the application version. And sometimes that is needed more than 
the platform so it could be harder to find. So here it's application version and we're looking for server in that particular one, platform web and platform windows goes back to the number. So if we're going to check for these at any given time, it is far easier to simply type in platform than to look it up and see, is it platform? Is it something else? And the same thing goes for the device. We have device is iPad. So let's look at that custom function. Here is one step. The actual function is get device. And if it returns a three, then we know it's an iPad. And if it is an iPhone, it returns a four. So this one is hard to remember. This one is very easy to remember and you can quickly go about your business and do iPad things and just quickly jump to what it is you're looking for without looking to the help file or your memory to accomplish it. So very simple, but very powerful and time savings compared to the previous long way method of accomplishing this same thing. So I hope that helps. I hope that is something you can put into practice to save you a bit of frustration and time in your development process. And be sure to like and subscribe for the upcoming custom functions in other categories to help you save time as a FileMaker developer.